Sarah, kind of a follow-up question from our previous conversation. In terms of employee engagement, how can leaders increase employee engagement since the majority of the work is done remotely? And you as the frog lady, I think you have a system that can help. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, engagement is one of the easiest ways to boost it, whether you are live and in person with people or you are trying to bridge the digital divide is to ensure that people feel valued. Um, in fact, one of my favorite definitions about connection is by Brittany Brown and all of the incredible research she's done. And that is that when people, people feel connection as the energy that exists between people when they feel seen, heard, and valued. So, I mean, that is not a definition that requires us to be physically in the same room. There are many organizations, global organizations, mm -hmm. multi-site organizations that were successfully leading people when they weren't physically together. So, you, you know, that the whole bricks and mortars idea that we need that to be able to be good leaders and individual contributors, that actually was a false um, understanding of what truly engaged uh, teams look like. Engagement does not depend that we physically eyeball each other or that we're in the same space. Engagement is when I truly feel connected to you when I feel you care about me, that you want to make sure I come in the next day, I have an opportunity to do meaningful work, that I feel a part of a much bigger system, um, and that I know what's expected of me and that I can be successful. I'm set up for success to be able to do that. So for folks who are feeling like we're just, I just feel like engagement's low, appreciate people. It is so fast and easy. The top three ways people say that they want to be appreciated in the research including our own, um, is uh, say thank you. 95% of people, just tell me thank you. 92% of people say, tell me specifically what I am doing well. I don't, it doesn't matter what the medium is, but be really specific and ideally timely. And 80% of people say, um, send me a thank you card or write me a thank you card. Mm -hmm. um, and what I'm doing now and encouraging my clients to do is use the many digital platforms to be able to utilize for sending thank yous. I use an app. Um, people, if they're curious about what app I use, they can email me, Sarah with an H at greatnessmagnified.com. But the bottom line is I have sent more thank you cards during COVID. So here we are eight months in when we're recording this. I've sent more thank you cards through that app than I probably did in the last five years. And I'm a, I'm a recognition person because we have to find ways to engage people and to make sure that they feel like I see you even when I can't physically see you. So that's, that's the bottom line of it for folks who are trying to boost engagement. If people feel appreciated, valued, and that they matter, no matter where they're doing their work, they will do great work. People will always do more um, it then is expected if they feel appreciated and they feel seen. I totally agree with you, especially with being working remotely, you need specifically what I'm doing and you need it today, not six months later. You need right. it today. I did something good. Thank you. I feel yes. that's important. Yeah. One of the, num the number one spend in Canada, and there are research shows, Conference Board of Canada, is that we uh, put our money, our recognition and appreciation dollars towards long service awards. Over 50% of, of dollars are towards that. And I'm not dissuading us from using that, particularly cultures where you have a long standing tenured um, group of folks. So not for profits, particularly hospitals, um, and municipalities and government. There's lots of organizations that have a wonderful loyalty of their employee base. So by all means, don't you don't want to just cut it like that. The thing is, often we outsource recognition to those annual events. To your, so to your point, um, if we say thank you once a year, even if we make it really splashy, it's not good enough. I mean, I'm, I'm here to tell you it wasn't good enough before COVID. It's not good enough now. So it's a both and. It's that the thank yous and the cards and things can cost nothing or virtually nothing. And then sure, invest heavily in some milestone events, some, some major celebrations when you've reached a milestone. Uh, a lot of what my clients are doing right now, I'm speaking at three appreciation events over the next week. They're sending a meal card home so that people can order their own dinner uh, to replace the dinner that they would have had if they're all physically together. 
and then they're having the same acknowledgement and then I'm doing a, you know, a keynote for them. And it's, so it's, it's still the same program. We've just sort of evolved it. Yes. And there's lots of companies that aren't doing anything formal right now. And what I'm hearing consistently is that people are wondering, like, do we not matter? Does our professional development not matter right now? Are we not going to acknowledge people until COVID is over? We're working hard here. We're, you know, we're, we're being redeployed and we're shifting our jobs and how we work. And as you had said in a previous recording, we're doing this with cats walking on our, on our keyboard <laughs> yeah. and kids interrupting us and Amazon delivery people banging on the door and God love all those people, but, and creatures, but you know, it's, it's challenging. And so let's not let our recognition efforts um, wane, fall by the wayside. It is a time though, to evaluate what are we doing that shows appreciation that truly engages people in the way that they um, want to feel seen, heard and valued. Thank you for those great tips, Sarah. I appreciate that. Yes, my cat and dog, they are quiet now, so <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> again, for now, they're behaving. For now. Yes. You never know, they, come, they can come walking here. Yeah. Uh, again, thank you for those great tips, Sarah. And again, for the audience watching, if you have any other tips in terms of employee recognition, please leave comments below. And tune in next time for another great question with Sarah.